truly was a devastating situation. I mean, uh, a, a, an individual, a law enforcement officer, literally being killed and it being caught all on uh, video. And, and then a court ruled that the uh, Tulsa Police Department had to release this video, had to put it out in the public domain, which just made it that much worse. I mean, the family had to endure this, which wasn't fair to them. I mean, they just lost, uh, you know, a father, a husband, uh, a family member. And all of a sudden, they have to, it's, it's out there in public domain, which means it's out there forever. And it's just, that's just not right. So uh, because of that, I, uh, the Tulsa County Sheriff's, uh, uh, Sheriff reached out to me as well as the Chief of Tulsa Police Department reached out to me about helping alleviate that situation so someone else did not have to deal with it. And obviously, you know, the, the recordings on dash cams, on uh, vest cams, all of those type of things, they're there for a reason. And absolutely, at different times, the videos are important to be shown. But when an officer is being killed uh, in, in this fashion, there is no benefit for that. The, the public doesn't have a right to see that uh, and carry this out, which could even open the doors for copycats as far as someone actually seeing this. So this bill, Senate Bill 968, is there to provide that protection so that, number one, it, it still allows uh, if prosecution, defense, or even the family wants to see it, they can. It, it's not stopping any of that aspect of it. Uh, but if what it does allow is for a the police department, sheriff's office, law enforcement to be able to say no to putting it out in the public. And, and I tell you, what's also really great about this, uh, as we were going through this proce process, had conversations with the Oklahoma Press Association, and they came out and said, Senator, this is a bill that we support. We believe this is the right thing to do. We support this completely. And so, uh, you know, on top of everything else, for them to come out and do that, that was a, a huge thing, and it meant a lot to me uh, for that support for this. So I, I, I just think this is a bill that supports our law enforcement and uh, it still keeps everything in place that's necessary for all the accountability and those type of things. But at the same time, when a family is dealing with the loss of a law enforcement officer, as well as for the other officers, when they're dealing with this, they don't need to have it out just in a, the public domain so that it can be shown at any time. You know, even family members, even someone, uh, you know, an officer uh, at different times, we have an officer that's killed whose uh, wife is pregnant. And so the baby has not even been born. And at some point it would be out there if we didn't do this. So I'm very excited in, uh, to be able to do this. And I'm very appreciative for the Oklahoma Senate you know, we passing this on the floor so that now it can move over to the House, we can get it through the House and on to the governor for signature. So I'm, I'm very excited that we've accomplished that, that part of the hurdle. Now we carry it to the next level.